I don't know if I can kind of rate that or weigh really? that. Yeah, it's hard to say thus far. Um, ultimately, you know, I could have put out music a long time ago. I was even talking right. to one of my homies about this yesterday. I mean, like, you know what? Like when I did Dancing with the Stars, for example, there was so much press around that. Yeah, would it have been ideal to put out a song? Maybe, but not if it wasn't right. Not if it wasn't good enough. And I'm psyched that I waited until I figured out exactly how I want to sing, how I can sing and develop that. That stuff takes time and then put out a record now exactly how I want to. That's why I call it How I Like It. I was going to say, I love even the title of it is sort of a nod to that very notion. Sure, there's a, it's the title song. There's a track on there. But this is, I imagine, how you want to do it. This is how you want to sound. This is James Yeah, Masters. I mean, at least the beginning of it, man. I mean, this is, that's why I did an LP. It's a taste of a lot of different vibes that I love. And so kind of back to the question, re-educating my fan base, listen to the record, you know, and then listen deeper and realize there is a lot of personal stuff in there. A lot of metaphor in there as well, but uh, yeah, this is just the taste. And I think that the majority of my fan base has grown up with me and are excited about the fact that it's real music and there are some sexy songs or some darker songs, but none of it is put on. It's all 100% you know, me. 